Hey guys, Mitko here from DN Models and today we're unboxing Mercedes-Benz Type 170V 4-door saloon car. This is not a new tooling from Miniart, but rather a reboxed new version of their line of W136 Mercedes series. It comes in a nice box with the box art depicting the lady passenger about to board Junkers 52 from what I suspect is a Lufthansa fleet. This is probably a pre-war depiction of Germany since everything is very colorful and bright with cheerful tones. In the set we have an abundance of different vehicles, most of them painted also in bright colors. Mercedes-Benz Type 170 was a very popular vehicle of that period and many were built so experiments with colors or damage and war vehicles are a huge realm here, practically indefinite. Opening the box we have an envelope containing the plastic spruce, photo etch sheet, a decal sheet and a cardboard box for protection of the plastic elements. The kit contained 212 parts in total from light grey plastic, 40 from photo etch and 13 clear ones. The booklet starts with a couple of paint options but we'll get back to those once we get through the assembly process. On the instruction sheet everything goes as one might expect. First with the thorough description of the spruce of course everything nice and in color. Then we kick it off with the engine and the chassis of the car. Mercedes W136 was a great car for its time but compared to modern standard it is a Spartan technology. Thus the building here does not require anything special and everything here is pretty easy looking and quite understandable even for non-professionals in the car business. Even though most of the chassis details won't be visible, they are there and alongside with them we have photo etch details to be added too. The detailing here is, at least I assume, for pleasure of building rather than actual usefulness with the completed model. Nevertheless, we have a transmission, exhaust system, springs, etc. If you by any chance decide to make a cutaway, you'll have enough to display. The difficulty of the build is going to be the same as we have with the Mini Arc Gas Truck series. There are tiny and flimsy parts, so prepare yourself. We also have interior features like the dashboard and well defined and textured seats in this four door saloon. With so many windows you can guess that this is a must here. Also the wheels are the famous mini art several pieces per tire disc engineering. This helps in many ways and most importantly spared you some money on resin. The bonnet can be positioned open or close and even though some experts says that it isn't perfectly accurate I found it to be very nice indeed. Same goes for the doors, not about the accuracy here but about the open or close position. You can pretty much show off everything inside. In total there are 11 paint options included in this set. Most of them are two-tone with bright colors typical for the era and again most of them are from the late 30s and early 40s. There are some from the 50s too. One of the most interesting is the Deutsche Reichpost bright red vehicle. It features decals too. Alongside with it we have well-known car from Deutsche Post again, the one after the war which color scheme was used for decades. Alongside with those we have simple looking vehicles too, but in my opinion postal cars are the best options here. There are one more of these, Deutsche Reichbahn, which was probably some serious vehicle from the Reichbahn. Whichever of those you choose to paint, here special attention to the finish of the car is needed. It requires to be shiny and with bright colors, exactly opposite of what a regular 35th scale kit looks like. Maybe the last option, which is a taxi cab, might be done more used and dirty but the rest are very attractive and should be bright and shiny. The first sprue I'm going to show you holds the chassis frame, seats for the interior, main part of the body and sides and top of the bonnet. Have in mind that we don't have overly many parts here since this is rather small vehicle but as you will shortly see 
there are some superb details featured. This is new boxing of the kit and features the new plastic material from Miniart. The old W136 versions probably were made with an old one, which was cracking quite often and caused many troubles. As you can see, there are many minor parts here and that would have been a huge issue. Especially nice I found to be the dashboard. There is not much of it due to the scale of course, but the one we have is superbly molded. Miniart put a lot of effort into their models and as you can see, this is implemented within every detail of each of their kits. The main part of the car body is good looking and symmetric. The fenders are nice, showing the line of the Mercedes even before the build started here. The seats are also nicely done with something that should be leather most likely, or maybe fabric, but I doubt it will be the leather. From what is visible on the inside of the doors on the next sprue, I can guess we're talking leather here. Even today Mercedes make their door leather in a similar manner. On the sprue we have rather tiny and fragile parts. And let's not the numbers here fool you. This will be a quite challenging build since the parts are tiny and require attention. Mini art engineered parts to be attached to the sprue in the easiest way possible, but still, don't be fooled by that. This isn't a model for the entry into the hobby. It requires at least mid-level experience from the builder, as most of the kits from the Ukrainian company. With that said, I must add that the engine parts here are quite tempting, and I'm pretty sure that there will be a new beast in the hobby starting with that particular kit. It is too hard to resist to be frank. Almost no flash, no defects, no unnecessary complications. What I mentioned about the doors is clearly visible here, detailed inside and out. One must remember that they are done in that way to let you show off and leave them open if you'd like. Maybe some of you will make them even movable. There are several sprues with the wheels due to the fact that many discs are to be put together to get one tire out of them. This is a standard for many art models and is preferred by many since it eliminates the need of resin aftermarket parts because this here is quite nice once built. Accompanying them we have more small parts like handles, stuff from the interior and the seats too. We have parts for the back case that sits outside of the vehicle. I had some issues once or twice gluing those wheels in terms of timing. I did it too fast and some cracks appeared on several discs. In order to make everything happen properly, you should give it time to cure disc after disc. It is rather time consuming, but one can live with it, knowing what the final result will be. In a separate cardboard box, we have the top of the vehicle carefully packed. That was done to avoid any unnecessary bending of the structure, since it has frames for the windows and it is delicate in its hole. It looks fine and you can assume what will be the overall size of the built vehicle just from looking at this one and from this first sprue that you saw just a minute ago. The texture of the plastic is missing and this is good for a car model since the surface can be easily turned into a polished car paint job compared to a rougher texture that we usually have with other models. Some of the mini art kits are lacking texture and this is a problem but with this particular one is definitely an advantage. The lady figurine is on sprue D which is made from a plastic material which is softer compared to the rest of it. If you have mini art kits with features figurines you will know what I'm talking about. The texture here is great although on the skin some parts are a bit exaggerated. This won't be a problem once everything is built, painted with primer and then painted with paints. It will hide most of the imperfections and will smooth the surface. Otherwise everything is textured and detailed from the both sides of the sprue and I assume this will make most of the figure painters quite happy. Photo edge, clear parts and decals are what we will see for the dessert today before we wrap it up. First we will start with the decals. They are most likely produced by Begemot. On the sheet we have mostly license plates numbers. We do have also a postal services markings and the taxi cap decals as well. 
Then we have the clear parts. As always, we have a great job here from MiniArt. You probably have seen my tram reviews and they did great there too. This is important since it comes down to a civilian vehicle, thus everything is clearer than with the military models. We have photo edge sheet lastly. It features many tiny parts but most important of all is the front grille. This is a specific advantage of the mini art kit of Mercedes W136 over master box version of it. Although we have very tiny holes here, it looks superb. All in all, that wraps up the mini art passenger car Type 170 V. The four door saloon was used for many years, and your modeling options here are endless. The overall quality is great, and with that quality of the plastic and detail here, we definitely have a winner model. I hope you find that review useful and be sure to check my other review of civilian vehicles from Miniart. Ukrainian company did a really great job with all of them. Stay tuned for more and be sure to subscribe. Hit the like button, comment down below and I will see you in the next one.